Hi, my name's Steve Etienne and welcome or welcome back to 75 Days to 60. This is a 75 consecutive day video series that will end the day before I turn 60 years old. I created the series to jumpstart me, to keep me on track, and to refocus me on attaining my goals. Hopefully, you find some benefit from that as you're watching this and it helps you to attain yours. Well, right now, as you can tell, I'm in the car. <clears throat> um, I have a day job. <laughs> And uh, I've been fortunate enough to have the last two weeks off. Today is a Monday. And uh, I have left work. And I am on the way to the gym. This is kind of a two-parter, really. Uh, everybody studied time management to certain degrees. And, you know, we all get the same 24 hours. I guess the difference is... What do we each of us do with the 24 hours that we get? And part of what I want to talk about today and a little bit more tomorrow is putting things on the calendar. Um, I mean, I always want to give credit where credit's due. I mean, uh, there's been time management programs that I've bought, listened to, that come from lots of different sources. Brian Tracy comes to mind. Uh, in business, myself, uh, one of my early mentors, Peter Christensen, from a little organization called Young Drivers of Canada, taught me so much. Um, so, <clears throat> if it's on the schedule, and if I put it in my calendar, honestly, it's much more likely to get done. So, the last two weeks, we're a little less structured, right? Not being back at work. So if we went to the gym at 8 or 9 or 10, well, I mean, really, what did it matter as long as we went? So if you're working, as I am, then what goes on the calendar becomes increasingly important. Tomorrow's video is going to be more in-depth, because I want to show it to you, about uh, time-blocking your weeks, which I learned from Robin Sharma. So suffice it to say that today I am in traffic, I'm in the car, and it has to happen. So my fitness level and how I feel and my energy level and all the things that I've told you that I want to get to at 60 aren't going to happen if I don't make it a priority. And this is a priority for me. So it is just a little after 3.30 in the afternoon. I do have an appointment at 5, so I've got about a 45 to 60 minute window. And what I'm going to do is get on the erg, because I like doing that. Full body aerobic rowing machine. Love it. I'm going to strap on the headphones and listen to music. Modern music? Nope! <laughs> I don't mind being on my exercise machine and listening to Peter Frampton for the 970,000th time. I'm okay with that. You listen to what makes you feel good. I am a child of the 70s. Can't help it. So, I'm in the parking lot of the gym. I'm ready to go. A little bit of time on the erg. A little bit of time on the weights. How I record it is all in the spreadsheet. I'll show that to you later. Short one today four minutes. Hope you have a great day. Comments as always. If you like it, pass this along to people that you think might benefit from it. Thank you for subscribing. Thanks for listening. I'm out of here. See you tomorrow.